Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a one brand makeup tutorial plus a review. This video is not sponsored at all. Nakita ko lang to mga products na to nung nasa SM Center also kami. And I was curious kasi I did not know that this brand carried a whole variety of makeup products. I'm talking about the product Bench. So about two weeks ago, we went to Manila JM sa SM Santa Rosa. We were looking at brands that were on sale. Tapos napadbad kami sa bench. Alam ko na nameran sila nitong eyeshadow palette. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I bought this a couple of months back. Tapos ngayon ko lang talaga siya mafilm for a review. Nagulat ako when I looked at the makeup stand. Ang dami pala nilang makeup products. So in today's one brand tutorial slash review, ang products natin, yung paint box bench, skin Skin Perfecting BB Cushion Whitening, Paint Box Bench Skin Perfecting Loose Powder, SPF 20, oh, diba? my SPF 20 Oil Control, Bench Paint Box Fancy Nude Eyeshadow Palette, Bench Paint Box Highlighter, Bench Paint Box Lash Lasting Mascara, Bench Paint Box Lip and Cheek Cream, and Bench Paint Box Intense Eyeliner. I've already prepped and primed my face. Naglagay na ako ng toner, chaka ng moisturizer. So next, we're gonna do the base of the face. The base of the face. We're gonna try the BB Cushion Whitening. And I am in the color Fair. There are actually only two shades, Fair and Natural. Natural was more on the pink side. That's why I chose Fair. Kasi this is more yellow. So it comes in a box like this. It's a cute box. Pati yung powder actually ganito din nila lagyan. This cushion is made in Korea. It would probably be the same consistency as other cushions made in Korea. Na medyo may shine. Alam mo yun, medyo moist. So when you open it, meron kang mirror. And it's not the cheap kind na nakaka-distort ng face. Ito yung good quality mirror. And then you have uh, a sponge that comes with it and it's in blue. As you've noticed, nabuksan ko na yung sa akin because I wanted to try dun sa mismong bench na store kung tama yung shade for me. One pat lang. One pat lang, marami ka ng product na makukuha. So careful lang. So because this is a review also, I'm gonna try it on one side of the face first. Guys, pag nahihirapan kayo sa sponge that it comes with, feel free to use your own sponge or a brush maybe. Although I suggest that sponge dapat ang ginagamit pag cushion kasi that's when you can maximize its purpose, which is to look dewy, di ba? So I'm also gonna bring that to the ear. Yeah, so dito na yung part na challenging. I always find it challenging to use the sponge itself sa mga corners of the eye. So that's where I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Do not forget the neck. Guys, most of the Korean products look white at first, yung mga BB cream siya kasi CC cream kasi ganun talaga yung formula nila and then eventually mag-oxidize din yun. Consider that when looking for the right shade. If we compare my left side to my right side, obviously mas maganda yung finish ng meron ng BB cushion foundation kasi one color lang siya. If you compare it to the other side, meron ako mga uh, dark circles, meron ako mga veins, yan yung green, mga red. Dito, nami-minimize siya ng sobra. Tsaka, diba, flawless yung finish niya. So, I'm just gonna do the other side. This is the whole face with the foundation. So far, it's looking really nice. I think it's matching my skin really well too. So, next na gagawin natin is to set the foundation. This is totally optional. If you want to go for a more dewy look, you could choose to just put powder on your T-zone and on your chin or just any area where you're oily. But if you want to go matte, then you go ahead and put some powder. Ito naman yung loose powder. I like it because there's SPF 20. That was, it also has oil control and it's supposed to be skin perfecting. This is also in the same shade as the BB cushion that I used. This isn't fair. So when you open the loose powder, you will have your usual puff. I'm not gonna use it because it's medyo mahirap siya. If I use it directly on my face, I'm gonna have dots. And I know it because I tried it that way. I'm gonna put some powder here. I'm gonna use my Miracle Complexion Sponge. Jin lang. Sides of the nose, laugh lines. Also, here's the nose because that's where I get oily. And then dito, to prevent creasing. Nalagyan ko na rin yung mata ko mismo. 
So I know, I know I look crazy at the moment. Maya, I'm using ko din naman yan. There's a very, very light scent and I don't, can't tell what it is though. So while I'm waiting for that to set, bear with my face first. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Paint Box Fancy Nude Eyeshadow Palette for my eyebrows first. I did check their eyebrow products. Meron silang eyebrow products, guys. They have the pencil and they also have the trio powder. But I didn't get that because walang black, walang dark masyado. So gusto ko ng dark for my eyebrows since my hair is growing out already. It has eight lovely colors. So, meron kang mga brown. There's black, there's white, there's pink, then medyo champagne pop ish. Rose gold, and then merong dark brown. Merong champagne, and then a little bit on the metallic side, that was black. Itong seven na shades na to, they are all shimmery. Isa lang yung matte, which is the black color. So, I'm gonna use the black color for my brows. I'm gonna use my eyebrow brush for that. So, as usual, I will brush through. As you can see guys, isang dip lang yung ginawa ko and very pigmented yung color. So careful when using these shadows. See, meron pa rin siyang color kahit na dinadrag ko lang yung kung ano man yung natira sa brush. I'm gonna use my NYX brush to brush away the powder I put on my eyes. I'm kind of putting the excess powder on my forehead. Alam mo, hindi ko lang nabili sa bench, I think, is the contour. And I can't use the colors here for contour kasi they're shimmery. The palette comes with a double-ended applicator, pero ayaw ko siya gamitin. Diba? <laughs> ayaw ko siya gamitin. I'm gonna start first with this color. I'm gonna put that all over the lid. So in terms of color payoff, hindi siya ganun ka kita. Use a bit of water. I can probably use a flat brush for that na lang para mas dikit. There, so it's much better if you put water. You can also use a setting spray. I'll go in with this color and I'll use a brush to just kind of lightly contour the outer corner of the eye. I think it's just the lighter colors that have challenges in showing their color payoff. The darker colors are better. I will go in with this color. Kwanti lang, dito, dito lang sa talagang outer corner lang. Simple eye look lang, guys. I'll bring the same colors down. I'll go ahead with this paint sa baba. So, pansin you guys, I'm not really swiping. I'm patting kasi chances are mag move yung bong foundation, and I don't want that to happen. I'm using the same colors sa taas sa sa baba. And then I'm gonna put black, a little bit of black for more drama. Dito lang. Tsaka sa taas din. Dito lang. Sa inner corner ng eyes, I'm gonna use this color and mix it with this. And then up next, we're gonna use their eyeliner. They only have this in two shades, one in gray and the other one in green, which is what I got. Tapos, maliit na maliit na wing lang. Okay naman siya. Meron lang parts na parang siguro pag may eyeshadow na nahihirapan siyang magsulat. Next, I'm gonna use their mascara. I think black lang yung meron sila. So, I'm gonna put that on the lower lashes. Okay naman siya. I just think that the brush is too big. Na nagsasmudge siya. Although I don't have a problem with that. I actually like it pag yung mga mascara nagsasmudge siya ilalim. It kind of gives me an easy smoky effect. So this is with the mascara and without. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Tapos mag mascara ulit. Now, wala akong contour, so I'm just gonna use another contour shade. I hope you guys don't mind. I'll be back. So, here's the look of my contour. I'm actually loving the powder. So, I'm gonna use Lip and Cheek Cream. It has a variety of colors. May mga light pink, meron atang medyo dark. Tingnan ko if this is gonna be good. Kasi nag powder na ako and all this big long cream, de ba? Let's see. Dry yung finish niya, so I think that's gonna work. 
Okay naman. So I'm just gonna put that on my hand para hindi siya masyadong malagkit. Yan, okay siya. After that, let's use the highlighter. Isang shade lang siya guys. I asked if they had more pero isa lang. So do not put directly on the face. Make sure that you use your finger first. Kasi may tendency na magdikit-dikit siya. Siguro nga hindi ko lang gusto sa highlighter. Meron siyang chunks ng glitter. Yun lang. But other than that, it's a nice shade. I'm also gonna put some at the top of my Cupid's bow. The dulo ng nose. Dulong dulo lang guys. Be careful ha. Do not put highlighter this way. Yun talaga isang ganon. Kasi sometimes that's not so flattering. So only here. Kasi yun lang naman yung gusto mong makita nakaangat, de ba? And then a little bit here. Also here. Left over lang. And then for the lips, I'm gonna use the same lip and cheek cream. Now I'm not sure if this is gonna work well. Kung ayaw ko siya, I'm gonna have to change it, okay? Cause it's too pink. It doesn't feel dry. So good to shop. Don't hesitate to use the highlighter there. Then you just spread it. Hindi lang siya sa shoulders, by the way. You can also put that on your collarbones. Para magmas pop. Just blend na lang, di ba? Medyo na piping ka na ako masyado sa lip. Para na tone down ko lang your lips. I hope you don't mind. So now we're just gonna head to the mall. I only want to show you how ano talaga yung progress ng makeup as time passes by. So I'll check in with you later. Hey, we just got back from SM Santa Rosa. Quick check on our makeup. If I look at my makeup from afar, okay siya. But if I look closer, nakita ko na hindi siya forgiving sa pores. I can't say that it's the foundation's fault. Ayan no, kita kita ko yung pores ko pati sa nose and the oil buildup is evident. Tapos sa left lines ko din medyo nag-set yung foundation. Okay yung brows, even the eye makeup is still Good. Ayan no. Wala namang nag-move na product. Hindi siya oily. Let's do the transfer test. So I'm just gonna get a piece of tissue. Tapos tingnan natin kung lilipat yung color. Meron. Pero konting-konti lang siya. Now let's try the oil control test. I'm gonna use my Gatsby oil clear sheet. Oh. Kita. Meron siya, guys. I mean, I'm not expecting na wala siyang oil, eh. So I can see na meron konting transfer ng makeup. Let's try it on the forehead as well. So, ito ang result ng film. It's not that bad, sa totoo lang. Meron konting transfer, meron din konting oil, but it's not bad at all. It's been six hours since I put on this whole makeup look, and I have to say that Ayusha. Everything just amounted to, di ba? Pwede pwede na sobrang mura niya. The eyebrows are still there, especially the eyeshadows. But I think the eyeliner lang. When you're fixing your eyes when it's drying up, you tend to like do that paloob sa inner corners of the eye. So kaya dito sa eye na to, medyo nag smudge na yung liner. Scara, okay lang din siya. It was able to coat all my lashes, but it's not doing anything for me. Hindi siya yung tipo na lengthen yung lashes, hindi rin siya na volumize. So okay lang, na coat lang siya ng black. Ayan. For the lips, obviously, I don't have anything on my lips anymore. I've had some drinks, kumain na rin ako. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to put more if you do decide to get this lip and cheek cream, just love I love you. Just be sure that your lips are well exfoliated, just like in any other day you're gonna put lipstick on. Kasi ito, medyo nakikling siya sa dry areas ng lips. I would recommend getting the eyeshadow palette. For me, among all of the products that I got from Bench, yun yung pinaka panalo. As for the cushion foundation, feeling ko it's not worth the money. For this price of foundation, may mas makukuha pang mas maganda ang quality at hindi talagang nagsiset sa mga unflattering areas katulad ng laugh lines tsaka ng pores. That is it for this video. 
please remember to subscribe to my channel so that you would see my future videos. Click that bell below yun yung notifications at malalaman niyo agad pag mayroon akong bagong video. Thank you so much for watching and you stay weird!